You might be thinking that remote control vehicles used by the military are only to take lives, but it's really the exact opposite. The main purpose of militaries using them is to save the lives of our families and friends. As you can see here, our troops are able to stay in their own country and fight a war without having to risk their lives. I believe that being able to be at the front lines without being there is a huge advancement in technology that can only benefit us. And I really hope you agree with me for the sake of our troops overseas. Remote control technology has so many uses for our soldiers, and all of them have many benefits. As you see here, each one of these robots can complete a task that would normally put one of our soldiers at risk. Sixty-three percent of Canadian fatalities in Afghanistan have been caused by IEDs. As you just saw and heard there, many people have been affected by what could have been prevented by the use of remote control technology. This video here shows you how robots make a huge difference on the field. In 2003, when I was in Iraq, the people that used robots, uh, obviously the injuries were, were minimal. Those that did not use robots were catastrophic. You know, I've heard from guys that uh, said the robots have saved their lives and continue to save their lives. This is potentially a lost soldier. This, this could have been a soldier. As I said before, robots are mainly used to save lives. And this robot does that in so many ways. As you see here, this remote control vehicle is able to drag or carry a wounded soldier off the field without risking any other human lives. Along with helping the wounded, this robot can investigate buildings and even defuse bombs. Many countries out there already use this great technology and it has been able to save many lives already. So why would you deny their importance in war? Robots will always be able to save lives while we're at war, and if you ask most soldiers, I bet they really would prefer to not have to be getting shot at. 